I saw Monkey Man last night, and wow. I mean, Dev Patel, bravo. Directorial debut, writing debut, you're the lead actor. All that, that was required of that, I can't even imagine. Um, something that to note is I thought it was going to be much more John Wicky, like the whole thing. So I kind of just like prepared myself for going into seeing like one of those kind of like, okay, here we go. Like another guy revenge, beat him up, machismo story. But I was really pleasantly surprised in, in a lot of the nuance in his backstory of his character. Um, it, it did kind of have this like start stop kind of experience for me. Like it, I, I actually really liked spoiler alert, spoiler alert, spoiler alert. I really liked how it started to, it started and showed them that showed him failing and then he had to get stronger almost. And there was, a, it was like a little bit of a cliche montage, you know, sequence, a little bit of a cliche, like know yourself, become one with yourself, remember who you are. And, but it also was really believable to me when he came back at the end and started kicking major ass because he had been getting beat up his whole life. So he had all of the, you know, from being in the ring. So he had all those skills, but it's like he wasn't channeling them in the right direction. He didn't believe that he could win. So anyway, there was an element of like the backstory and what he like kind of discovered that I thought was a little cheesy. Um, some of the violence and the, you know, was a little, oh, like I could barely watch it, but that's just, you know, who I am. It definitely wasn't my favorite movie. It wasn't bad. I thought it was really well done. Anytime we can see anyone that's not the stereotypical white male action hero, it's always lovely because I love seeing that diversity. I love seeing the kinds of films and the kinds of cultures that we're representing and exploring. I love seeing that. Um, so definitely bravo. And I also really liked the symbolism between the story of what his mother told him in the beginning and who he became. But there's like the part of me that's like, yeah, like I want him to like kill all the people and kick all the ass. But then there's a part of me that's like, well, that mob boss is just going to be replaced by another mob boss. Like you actually have to change the system. So maybe your life could have been given better if you <laughs> if you had taken the time to try to transform the system instead of going after and being vindictive and wanting to get your vengeance i'm just a little tired of seeing men get revenge and beat people up and kick a lot of ass you know i'm just so sick of that and we see it so much because there's so many male directors and there's so many male fans of that. It's just becoming a point where I'm like, isn't there another story that we can tell, you know? So I like that it was told in a different way, but there was definitely still some cliche tropes with like him wanting to like, obviously you would want to avenge your parents' death, but it, there still felt like the like, I am the hero and I am going to get and save the woman and save the damsel in distress. Like the thing with the, you know, main hot chick hitting, you know, hitting and killing the woman and then them having this moment where their fingers touched and this thing of like, oh, I'm so turned on by you and, and you're saving me and you're being masculine. Just sometimes that kind of stuff. I'm just like, We've seen it. We've seen it. And I get it. It's every male's, every straight male's fantasy, I guess. I don't know. Maybe it's every male's fantasy. Maybe every man wants to be the hero, which, you know, I don't diss you for that. But I do wonder, like, do we ever reflect and actually look at these 
stories and look at these tropes that we have and why we have them. Do we actually want them or can we reject them? Something to ponder.